Right, here we go. We're um, about to do this uh, unboxing of the HPI Savage X 4.6. As you can see, this is just a uh, box, huge box. It comes in a huge box. This box came from the um, delivery company called UK Mail. Let me get a knife and I'll open it up. Here we go, one knife. But don't try this at home, because you might scratch up the thing inside. Let's get this box open. Right, got a uh, invoice here from the, uh, the you know company that sold me it, sold me it. Tamiya, I think they're the company. Anyway, let's carry on. Some more promotional stuff from the company. You even got a HBI card. I don't know what that enables me to do, but. You know, I'll have a look at it later. Right, so this is the main box. Got some packaging material here. Yep, some small packaging material. And here we go. Quite a big box. And here it comes. Savage X. 4.6 big block it's a big block more speed more torque runs cooler hpi racing what do you got here you got massive power two speed transmission tvp chassis dual disc brakes dual disc brakes wow All right, let's get it out of the box. Here we go. This is the box. Let's get it out of the main box. Okay, first of all, let's have a couple of us. I'll look at some other pictures. This is what it looks like. This is what we're expecting inside. Right, Bring up the trusty knife again. It says factory sealed here, so once you break it, you'll know it's been opened. Whoa! Well, as soon as you open it, you get the smell of these wheels, you know, the tyres. It's a very strong smell, but uh, there you go. First of all, what have we got? You've got a controller here, of course you would, you know? Fairly standard looking controller. What else have we got? What else do we have? I think this is to do with the frame. We've got a close pride wrench. Some other bits and pieces here and there. And there you got the um We've got the air filter, 
It's my son Orlando. Good thing, you've got the uh, battery housing here inside there as well. What else do we have? Let's have a look. Oh, God. Bag's quite heavy. Oh, that's interesting. Girl plug igniter. Some batteries. Fuel, uh, fuel bottle. Looks like the uh, oh, it's quite sturdy. This looks like the uh, starter, the nitro starter, nitro starter from HPI, HPI Racing. It's quite heavy, this. And also, you got the rod there. You can see the rod inside there. What else you got? This looks like it could be a charger. Maybe a charger for. Um, no idea what for to be honest. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Loads of bits and pieces in there. Looks like some sort of a charger. Don't know what it's for. Don't know what it charges up. What else do we have in here? Well, underneath, we've like got some instructions as well. So we got it. Savage X 4.6 Big Block. These are the instructions, 4.2 gigahertz radio system. And uh, yeah, this is the main instruction manual. You've got some stickers behind there. Okay, this is just this uh, advertising what it is. Some other bits of document inside there. As well. Right, and here's for the, um, here's for the main event. The big block thingamajig. Here we go. That's what it comes in. Here we go. It's a big thundering machine. It's got chrome wheels or chrome effect wheels. It looks slightly darker actually than what I was, what I was expecting. The, uh, the color looks pretty good. You see. Front grill there. I'm gonna try and see if I can take it off. I've never, oh, here we go, I've got the things there. You've got your clips here so you can take it off and have a look at the side. So I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna take the clips off. Is that knife? One, two, three. There we go. Big block racing. That's one powerful machine, isn't it? Quite, it's got quite a lot of weight on it. I'm guessing the power on that would be quite tremendous. Ground clearance is pretty good, so it can go off road. As you can see, we've got a garden behind us. We're probably going to break it in outside there. In a minute, I'll show you the uh, garden that we have. I love the um, front shocks, or well, the shock absorbers, the front, the front shocks are very, very long, which is good because it takes care of uh, any issues regarding ground clearance. It's pretty good. The server looks pretty powerful. Very, very big block engine compared to the one I've got over there. Big fuel tank. So I'm guessing this will eat up a lot of fuel. Um, one thing it doesn't have is doesn't have is a rear one of the rear wheels. I have to find this if I can get one of those from somewhere. Certainly is a big block machine. But well, anyway, um, my next review will be just uh, showing you how it runs, how it goes, breaking it in putting fuel in it and uh, seeing what the noise sound like. 
I'm guessing I'll have to read the instructions, or maybe not. Who knows? But anyway, for now, we're going to sign off for now. Thanks. Uh, my name is Ben, and this is Orlando. Yay. We're both going. He's going to be my assistant, helping me uh, break it in. So for now, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe.